shift from him to no Noivern. Noivern's my guy. When I first saw him in the Pokemon reveal, he looked so cool. I don't know, I just, I like the Wyvern look of a dragon. It just looks so sick. It's like an oversized bat with a tail. It just looks intimidating as hell. But if if Wyvern could have a third evolution, it would probably look like Smog. I would honestly believe it. But I doubt Noivern will get a third evolution. Play the shit out of Poco and X and <gasps> You're joking! We got Z! We got- Wait, Z minus A? Next year- Oh... I'm so happy we're getting another Legends. And we got Megas back. Thank you. The one gimmick we all loved. Buenos dias and buenas noches, my beautiful people. And we got ourselves Pokemon Legends. Pokemon Legends is back and so are Mega Evolutions, baby. So if you're wondering what that opening scene was, that was clips from my recent live stream from a couple of nights ago. I live stream uh, me reacting towards the Pokemon Presents. So yeah, I live stream now. So yeah, if you want to check it out, feel free to. My goal is to build up my community and it's slow going, but it takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day right if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want it doesn't cost you a penny well if you don't mind ringing that bell and also giving that fluffy thumbs up let's continue so we got the pokemon presents on pokemon day and pokemon legends z to a or z minus a i don't know how you pronounce it it's coming 2025 so that means this year is just going to be pretty much a quiet year for pokemon and i think that's a good thing i'm pretty sure game freak has heard our voices and now they're taking their time with one game at a time because every year was constant it was just every year was pokemon games galore but it seems like this will be a gap year for us which good because we had two big Pokemon games released on 2022 and let's just say one was definitely more favorable than the other because of obvious reasons <laughs> so yeah let's hope Pokemon Legends Z to A runs pretty good like Legends Arceus and yeah we're going to get alphas back having alpha Pokemon was the coolest thing they could have had next to mega evolutions just seeing a bigger version of your mon is just sick and very intimidating especially when you ran across that alpha garchomp for the first time <laughs> but i'm definitely glad that the alpha pokemon will continue in legends because it would have sucked if it was just a one and done deal and all we get is an alpha mark and that's it we don't see our pokemon being gigantic like we've seen in legends arceus so that means we get an alpha noivern how sick is that for those of you who don't know, Noivern is my favorite Pokemon. I'm pretty sure every kid's favorite Pokemon growing up was Charizard. Don't get me wrong, he's definitely top three, but Noivern is their number one. And of course, top three with them is Gardevoir. Mystery Dungeon definitely made me like that Pokemon so much. Wanna know how I stay beautiful? Okay, stop. Hey, no sus thoughts, all right? Keep that to yourself. While mostly everything was pretty disappointing with the presents, to me personally, hopefully excited fans of the other mobile games, I don't think the digital TCG is going to work because people prefer the actual physical card they collect than just ones and zeros. And that's coming from someone who does not collect Pokemon cards, unless someone convinced me to, but we'll see. But all we get is a CG trailer mixed with some really cool artwork, very inspired by Da Vinci, which definitely gives us a hint of what this game might set in when it comes to a time period. So we bounce from the old sketch style towards this futuristic Tron-like look. And I'm not sure if it's representing if this game takes place in the future, or it could be a bit of both. Maybe you're in the past and you go to the future. I have heard that apparently the entire game takes place in Lumio City, but I highly doubt that. I feel like you gotta explore all of Kalos region. But I do believe that the construction of Lumio City itself will be the main focus and the key factor of the entire game. Maybe it might blend a bit of a building simulator. I think that will be pretty cool. Or it could be similar to those side quests in Legend of Arceus where, where you get a particular Pokemon to help out some of the townspeople. Maybe we might get an idea what the townspeople in Kalos region are like. Maybe they're drastically different 
compared to the Hisuians. Who knows, maybe they're a lot more open to Pokemon than the Hisuians were. We will meet obviously ancestors of characters we know from X and Y, either the same looking characters or gender bent versions of them, and we'll probably get introduced to newer characters, maybe clans that worship the legendary Pokemon similar to Hisui region, but I think that could be a bit of the same song and dance. And we will get alternate forms of Pokemon that we already know. So they normally pick Pokemon that are not popular or not as strong compared to the others and give them a cooler form. Like Hisuian Quillfish. Over Quill just says it all really. And Basket Legion was such a cool idea. And even Weird Ear is pretty cool too. Basically Gandalf the White as a Pokemon really. So I'm excited to see different forms of Pokemon that we already know. And of course, the three starter Pokemon getting alternate forms, just like how they did for Samurott, Typhlosion, and Decidueye. All right, let's talk about the main thing. Mega Evolution is finally back. How long have we been telling them that we want Megas back? That was the only gimmick that really worked. Z-moves, trash. Gigantamax was cool, but again, it's just a weaker version of Megas. Trash. Terrestrialization, pretty, but you know, trash, really. Creating another form for Pokemon that we already know and love was such a cool idea. And it's basically something that Digimon has been doing for years. So Pokemon ain't innocent when it comes to boring ideas from other IPs. You can lay off the fire on Power World now because Mega Form is temporary for the Pokemon, just like how Digimon's Mega Forms are temporary, but that's really in the anime. In the video games, I guess it's a bit more permanent, but let's be honest, it's really similar. <laughs> But yeah, I am looking forward to the new forms that we're definitely going to get in Pokemon Legends. Let's hope they pick really good ones. And hopefully my boy Noivern gets a Mega Evolution. Heck, I would love if Noivern gets a third evolution. It was so funny. I was just talking about how Gen 6 is one of my favorite generations of Pokemon. And it got me back into Pokemon because the 3D graphics. And I was talking about Noivern getting a new evolution, hopefully. Oh, this was from the stream, by the way. And then I reacted to the trailer and then it hit me. So you're telling me there's a chance. And I hope this game's story is just as good as Legends Arceus. It's been so long since we actually had a good Pokemon story. One story that was pretty mature as well. From the get-go of Legends Arceus, you had to prove your worth. Otherwise, the town would just kick you out and you'll be left alone to die. Or even instances where characters were just planning to kill you near the finale of the game. And let's not forget the whole Giratina segment. I was sort of told what was going to happen, so I kind of over prepared myself, but I was not expecting the whole Giratina part. Once you beat him, and then he just stands right back up to turn into his origin form. My god, the compilations with that moment is just as iconic and hilarious. And I'll take the two, but that might kill. All right. <sighs> All right. That, what? Huh? Okay, so a Pokemon fight with three waves, that's normal. But I really do love the story that your job is to teach the humans to get along with Pokemon and solve the mysteries of these weird rifts that was happening. So I'm curious what this one's going to be about. It could be possible that, that this is going to take place after the war that was talked about in X and Y. So this could be the aftermath where everyone's trying to unite and rebuild. And I guess why not start with the biggest city in the Pokemon world, Lumino City. Hence why the trailer basically teased the schematics of the entire city and it's definitely possible we're going to see that stranger that was wandering around Kalos region for about 3,000 years if I remember so guarantee we'll definitely see him maybe with a different look because I doubt he's gonna look like a hobo still but yeah Pokemon Legends Arceus was a great foundation to the series and I hope they add more to Legends Z and A Z to A Damn it, still work on that title. But yeah, the new Pokemon Legends, what do you think of it? Are you guys hyped or are you a bit bummed that we're not getting a new Pokemon game this year? What were your thoughts on the Pokemon presentation in general? Comment down below and let me know. But yeah, I'm basically done. I just want to stop and say thank you so much for 500 subscribers and still counting. It's 
really unreal that I managed to achieve 500 subscribers in this short amount of time. I thought it would take me longer, to be honest. And yeah, again, I do stream and I tend to do it frequently. I'll probably stream on my days off, which is basically Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in Australian time. But who knows, I might stream in random times as well. There's no schedule. I, when I first stream, it was actually pretty exciting. I did have someone pop in the chat in my Pokemon Presents and he was a pretty nice dude. It was pretty cool, but, but again, a bit quiet, but to expect it to be honest. Anyways, I better let you guys go. I wish you guys a good day or good night. Ciao.